What does it mean to walk in the spirit? There is a realm, brothers and sisters, where a man can walk in purity in reality without struggle. There is a realm where sickness can no longer find expression in your body. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Becoming a spiritual man entails walking in the spirit. Galatians chapter um, 5, verse 16, the Bible says, This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not gratify the desires of the flesh hallelujah what does it mean to walk in the spirit it means to depend on the grace and power that is supplied by the person of the holy spirit within us to walk in the spirit is to depend on the grace and the power that he supplies listen to me brothers and sisters there is a grace and spiritual power that the holy spirit supplies to us and it can keep you it can take you to a point where you become flawless in your christian experience there is such an ability of the spirit and i showed us in jude 24 how that the bible says now unto him who is able to keep you from falling so there is an ability that is supplied by the agency of the spirit that can keep you from falling refuse that theology that um okay we can fall down and then we rise up just expect that one day. no 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 the path of the just is as a shining light it's not just a shining light automatically it's a shining light because at every point at every point in your life there is a supply of the grace and the ability of the spirit so where as an ordinary man naturally i'm a young man are you getting my point naturally i'm a young man i'm not married the natural disposition in society is that i should have the normal unusual affinity maybe for ladies or something and then go and sleep around and do this and people say it happens that is the natural state if i depend on my strength i will helplessly be a victim of that kind of life it doesn't matter whether i'm a preacher or not so realizing that i do not have the capacity to help myself i tap into a higher supply of the spirit this is the true revelation of the grace of god the supply of the power of the spirit an agency beyond your human strength so that what you should have been ordinarily subject to there is grace this is what the divine life is all about we have no right to talk about the divine life when we are still under the elements of this life when you experientially rise beyond certain limits you prove to men here and now that the divine life is at work in you hallelujah praise the lord um we came back from from niger state this morning and um, the protocol they were telling me a few things they said I, I was sleeping in the car they said one day they are going to bundle me and go and book a hotel and just throw me there and lock the place to force me to rest because it looks like i don't rest let me tell you i know it's good to rest but for me this scripture has become a reality if that same spirit that raised christ see when the word of God becomes true, it should become flesh and manifest bodily. Bodily. If we all agree that there is a realm where sickness cannot touch you, then that means that there is a plane in the spirit. You see, the trouble is, we teach believers that it is possible, but we do not tell them at which spiritual position that becomes a possibility. It's not a possibility everywhere. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's not a possibility everywhere how many of us know that the, in nigeria there is a level that you get to where you are not just giving green passport there are other kinds of passports right there are diplomatic passports that grant you access without struggling here and there now until you get to certain realms if i just teach you 
that there is such a realm in Nigeria and you carry your Greek passport and start running as though it's a diplomatic passport, you'll be embarrassed for nothing. And you will think I told a lie. So it's not enough to tell believers the possibilities that are in the Bible. Every possibility is activated at a certain spiritual frequency. It's like your radio waves. Are you following me now? As we are seated right now, there are different waves. They are operating at different frequency. If you can tune in to certain frequencies, some things become possible at once. But if you do not have the capacity to tune to that spiritual frequency, it will look as if it is a lie. There is a realm, brothers and sisters, where a man can walk in purity, in reality, without struggle. There is a realm where sickness can no longer find expression in your body. It is not in every realm. So the question is not to tell people the divine life is at work. Hallelujah. You will be sick for nothing. It is to keep eating of that tree of life. Those spiritual capsules that bring rejuvenation to your spirit man. And as that is happening to you, you are climbing a ladder in the spirit. You will get to a point where you will walk experientially in these possibilities. Mm. My goodness. Jesus proved to us that certain things are possible to men. He rose to a dimension where he could walk through walls. That's the dimension we call immortality. Unfortunately, there are many people that teach immortality. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.